Are you on Discord? I've been trying to stay pretty active on there. It's a good place to reach me. I recently started this Pokemon game where um, we all take turns coming up with a Pokemon and everybody else tries to guess it. You are? Hell yeah, you should jump in then. I got an open link right now on my profile. And if you're interested in that game, just let me know. I'll give you the Pokemon trainer role when I get a minute. She's playing Overwatch? Oh, cool. Now, my friends have been really into that. I can't say I've seen a whole lot about the game. I know it's like a team-based shooter. Not exactly my kind of thing. I like shooters, but if they're like too heavily team oriented, usually you just end up getting smacked around because you have like randoms. The bane of every team based game. The dang on random. There's gotta be an Earth Mask around here somewhere. One would really hope. Oh yeah. And welcome on in. Oh, there is, but they're way over here. Yeah, it's not worth backtracking then. Hey, welcome back, Slash. Uh, I don't believe I did, no. What was it about? Yeah, I ended up getting off because it said I was, like, disconnected from my own chat. And I couldn't tell if I was still live streaming or not. So I just, yeah. <laughs> I didn't want to keep speed running. <laughs> disconnected from my chat, you know? It, was, it triggered my anxiety, and I was like, let me just restart the run. I mean, it's only a 30 minute run. It wasn't like a big heartbreaking moment. I don't even have a PB yet, so. Oh. Yeah. I mean, when I looked at the VOD, I realized that it was just my chat. Sorry, if that happens this time around, I'll know that the VOD's still good. But I'll end up having a restart just so I can have a good chat probably anyway. Since I'm streaming with my phone. at it's like 50 minutes long it, it's a low key just a loop though the loop just keeps intensifying they're just like you need to like give into this ad if you don't buy this product like you're just never gonna get back into Twitch we're officially holding you at, at hostage at hostage. I was gonna say at gunpoint, but we ended up going with at hostage. I'm pretty sure, yeah, okay, I know exactly where it's going. Hold up.
Just so I have a little bit of a head start. Getting hero mode here. That is awkward. Just casually spawn killing all these mobs. Really sucks that they went for that move. Worked out though. Hey, welcome back, Metal. Good time, we're about to start level 2. This game, 6 chapters, 4 levels each. Well, 3 levels in a boss fight. But levels 1 and 3 also have boss fights. It's just that level 4 is only a boss. Keep on rolling, baby. Keep rolling, rolling, rolling. What? Rolling, rolling, rolling. Yeah. 
I don't believe so. I'm playing it on GameCube right now. I know it's also on PS2 and PC. But the PC version is a port. This game's pretty old. I've been on a retro kick recently. I mean, I'm running out of stuff to speedrun on the PS4. So, it really comes down to waiting for games to launch that I want to run and... Like, feeling like getting back into games I've already run. So, yeah, branching out. Like, I'm waiting for the Prince of Persia Sands of Time remake. I'm definitely going to get and speedrun that game. It's kind of like postponed like indefinitely right now. There's been absolutely no word on it in a year. Hell yeah. I always say that the GameCube is my favorite console. Just because it has all the awesome Nintendo games. Nintendo in its prime, I would say, no less. With, like, Super Mario Sunshine and, like, Ocarina of Time. But, like, it also has some surprisingly, like, dark games. Like, you got Resident Evil, and you got Turok. There's a pretty good balance of stuff going on. Whereas, like, the newer Nintendo systems don't have games like that. They're like strictly the like E tended up Nintendo library. The GameCube is just built different. Did you ever get into Bionicle at all? Like, they had a bunch of shows. I never really seen shows, but I've always really liked this game. Although I never thought I'd be speedrunning it. That being said, since it's like a Lego game, it's the kind of game that you do play some levels like three times over to get 100%. Ironically, when you're speedrunning it, you actually want to keep file percent down because it buffs enemies. RE4 remake? Hell yeah, that looks really nice. Even though I've been running that a lot recently on my PS4, I'll definitely still get the remake. I just hope they do stuff like Resident Evil 2 and they take a little bit of liberty to actually make it feel like a different game. Like maybe add some new mobs, expand the map a little bit, give us a couple of cutscenes that are different. Like even if it were to feel like the remakes are its own like universe kind of thing. I would love to see more of the stranger, for example. Either make the stranger like a boss fight or give him more like purpose to the game. Never got into Bionicles. 
<laughs> yeah. I mean, I did the whole campaign. I was just building stuff, like, outside the world, like, to make it more interesting than the main game. I still got a clip of it on my channel. But anyway, it's interesting checking out Resident Evil 2 on Minecraft. Sadly though, my Minecraft was acting weird. I couldn't get into like the the um the bedrock edition. And I always build in bedrock because the new version of Minecraft forces you to save when you exit out. And a lot of like my traps and stuff are set up to like... You know, need refilling kind of thing or like they like destroy themselves after. It's just a lot easier for me to refresh the world by like exiting out without saving. Than having to like manually... Like place everything, you know what I mean? Because there's a lot of keys and stuff. It's a whole thing. It's really stupid that it auto-saves anyway, like... I don't want to save, I don't want to save. Okay. Some of the Lego pieces weren't magnetizing there, that was annoying. Yeah, it sucks. It's literally the only thing that keeps me from doing it on, like, the modern build of Minecraft. And using, like, honey and stuff. I could always get into Minecraft, though, and just stream it for walls on the new edition. But I would probably just play, like, survival. I'm just kind of messing around a little bit. Just because I do prefer to make things that are like puzzle maps, and it's hard to do stuff like that with the the save system they gave us. Oh, oh, oh. damn! The way you load into that hut always gets me. All right, we got two more. Yeah, true enough. <laughs> that red paraca that I'm gonna end up fighting at the end is right there on my shelf. That's uh, Hakan. I believe that's a McDonald's toy. It's a McDonald's or Burger King, something like that. One of my Discord buddies was telling me that. I actually didn't remember where I got it. But I vividly remember it now that they've mentioned it. <laughs> Alright, hold on. I'm pretty sure I want to get that mask. And that one too while we're at it.
I should probably end up getting that ability right there. So like I was saying about the file-based upgrading system, I'm minimizing what upgrades I get for these characters because of that. But, um, door I just passed looked like it had a bunch of Lego pieces behind it. And this section cost me a little bit of time since I don't want to upgrade the water tower. Since, I mean, this is the lava area. <laughs> this is pretty much the only time the water tower comes up. So. And they're really not that good, to be honest. I mean, they're like, they're meant to be the most consistent damage. So their damage per hit is just awful. And they're also only second fastest. I kind of wish the stone one wasn't a thing. And the stone one's ability was just the... Earth ones. Because the stone weapon sucks. It pushes you backwards. It's the worst thing you want in speedrunning. <laughs> if I ever shoot that, it's entirely by accident. Also, six is like just a little bit too much. Making me juggle masks over here. Well, it's quite a bit of gauge to go into the boss with. Oh. Is this not even the boss yet? Oh, wow. I'm actually gonna get more of that. Stop dropping Lego pieces for some reason. You know, that's quite a jump. Just casually jumps like 15 feet backwards over lava. And like, you know, we're not even gonna talk about that most of the time, but I feel like it needs to be addressed. That went by really fast. Good 
Did you super jump again? Oh yeah. There was a bridge there that time. Can't even connect, well. <laughs> Are you kidding me? F. Well, we were spamming for no reason! Oh well. Other than that last hiccup, that was a really good fight. Can't complain. Now we just got the world boss. Hakan. He's got different weapons on his arms here than he does on my little figurine. Oh, perfect. I think I know how this works, but also I'm, I'm really not that sure. It's been a while.
Summon more minions. I was just worried about this mask. Now it should just be the general shooting the shooting goes down by a bit. <laughs> Oof. That did not look pleasant. Stretching at this point, he's like, Oh, yeah, I'm screwed. <laughs> wow, how dramatic. For a second I thought I was going to lose the air mask. 